The last three going forward now for this prestigious race with uh, a total of £350,000 prize money. Not the richest of the week, but the one with the most history. Fame and glory going forward now. There's Frankie. He's installed. Has he chosen the right one? Switch from opinion poll to colour vision. Last one going forward now. They're set for the Gold Cup. Ready? Back up! Racing in the Gold Cup in 2012 and on the inside, Opinion Cole is one of the first to weigh up there too in the early stages, Fame and Glory, and a little bit wider out as Color Vision and then Gulf of Naples, who's widest of all, the two greys on the outside of the field. Just dropping in behind them as Sadler's Rock inclined to pull early and that yellow jacket settles third on the rail for Johnny Murta. Further back in the field then in the centre is Naham. They're followed then out the back by Caucus, who's giving them a fair start with the Bridge of Gold, and at the tail is Ascan Tau. So they've gone through the first furlong and a half, and going to the front is Gulf of Naples for Sylvester de Souza, up the straight the first time, and they're dawdling in these uh, testing conditions today. At least by two and a half lengths or so, to Colour Vision in second, a similar distance away in third, then is Sadler's Rock. Half a length away, then the harm the outside, settling in fifth position on the inner, is uh, Fame and Glory, last year's winner. Then on his outside, Opinion Poll, followed then by Bridge of Gold, who's tucked away behind them. Corpus is on the outside of runners, and Ascot Towers at the rear. They're going very, very slow here, as they've got two miles left to travel, and uh, dawdling along here in front is Gulf of Naples. Leads by a length and a half, to in second, Colour Vision on the inside of the harm. And then in fourth position is Sadler's Rock, who won't settle. He's pulling for his head there on the inside. And Caucus in the pink jacket. They're a length and a half in advance in a pinion pole, followed by Fame and Glory. Then two lengths through the back, Asker Tower. At the tail of the field is Bridge of Gold. And ten lengths covers the field as they've got a circuit remaining. And the leader is Gulf of Naples. Has been out there for a fair way now, leads by two lengths, and I'd say those back in the ruck would be wanting him to stride on here. Leads by two lengths, Naham, a length, half length away on the inside, Colour Vision, followed further back in the field then by Caucus, and the pink jacket has moved up on the outside of Sadler's Rock. They're a length in advance then of uh, Opinion Pole with a white cap, then Fame and Glory on the inside, just inclined to take a bit of a tug in the first half mile of the race, they're two lengths to Ascot Town and still out the back is Bridge of Gold. As they're starting to stride downhill, they leave the mile and a half behind them in the Gold Cup. And the leader here is Gulf of Naples by a length. And the harm on the outside, a length away, then on the inner is Colour Vision in the box seat for the Tory. Three parts away, Corpus the outside, half a length further back then is Sadler's Rock. A length then to uh, Opinion Pole the outside. Fame and Glory still third last from Ascatau. And Bridge of Gold is out the back as all the time they're running downhill as they leave the mile behind them and they head to Swindley Bottom. And the leader still is Gulf of Naples. Gulf of Naples out in front from on the outside, Naham. In third then is Colour Vision tucked away. In fourth is Corpus with a pink cap on the outside. Sadler's Rock is striding out a bit better now. He's appreciating the increase in tempo, followed then by Opinion Pole. Fame and Glory is back in the field. They're followed then by Ascatau. And still at the tail of the field is the rank outsider, Bridge of Gold. They come out of Swindley Bottom and start this very stiff uphill climb towards over the Gold Cup. And it's Gulf of Naples. Sylvester de Souza on the inside. Just the leader from the harm. Paul Hannigan, the champion jock on the other. Two lengths away then is the Ascot Specialist Frankie Dottori on Colour Vision. They're followed then by Sadler's Rock on the inside of further back in the field then, Caucus. They're followed then by Fame and Glory with about eight lengths to make up from there. Just starting to improve slightly from Opinion Pole and then Bridge of Gold Ascot Tower. Coming up towards the half mile marker now in the Gold Cup. And on the inside it's Gulf of Naples being tackled in earnest by Naham. Then in third is Colour Vision. Followed by Sadler's Rock and Corpus and behind them Fame and Glory still six lengths off the pace followed then by Opinion Pole they clear a bridge of gold and out the back is Ascatau on the turn for home the gold cap down the gold for Naples on the inside being tackled by Nahar now Calories are getting into the clear two or three lengths away there is Sadler's Rock Fame and Glory now taken to the outside starting to run on fairly well two four lengths left to go and on the far side it's gold for Naples Nahar in the centre Television now coming there for the glory. Then two lengths to a pin and running on well. It's 
Bamboo is running behind. A half third on left to go in the gold cup. And it's a brilliant pole now. Pouncing with colour vision. The two get off and run his body it off. And on the inside, colour vision is just doing the best. And colour vision has got up the win for the Tory. He's got up the win at the brilliant pole. Sadler's Buck finished fast down the outside. Then in fourth, then is Golf and Nables from Ascotau and a half. And further back in the field, Caucus. Fame and glory just couldn't make it back to backs. He's finished a long way from them and a long last in Bridge of Gold. Frankie the Tory, the Ascot specialist, the hero of Ascot, has won the Gold Cup. What a boost for his stocks. It's very, very tight for second. Opinion Paul and Sadler's Rock, he finished with a real flourish on the outside for Tommy Murta. But Frankie the Tory, who's been fighting so hard to consolidate his position as number one at Godolphin. And he has written an inspired race to win the Gold Cup on television. Owned by Godolphin, trained by Sayyid bin Sarula. This grey gelding, there's Sayyid. This grey gelding by Rainbow Crest. And what a performance. Very, very tight for second. We're waiting for the judges. Very clear. Let's have a look at them ourselves. Very, very tight here. In the centre, that's opinion pole. He has just got second on the evidence of that. Ahead of Sadler's Rock in third. In fourth is Gulf of Naples, who took them along for so far. Then in fifth is Ascatow, who came from last for George Baker. And in the harm, we got tired. Fame and glory. He had too much ground to make up. He was never really that happy, I wouldn't have thought, Jamie Spencer. There's the Claxon call. There's the stewards are looking at something. There's a steward inquiry. Corpus is behind them. Now, officially second opinion poll, officially third, Sadler's Rock, and the Gulf of Naples fourth. Distance is a half length in the neck, and the time 4.42.05. But Frankie de Tory, the man who in 1996 went through the card at Ascot, riding seven out of seven winners, a track that he's always loved. And let's have a look now and see if we can spot the interference here.